grade is in there. Her job, find out why children at this Detroit school are not showing up for class. 64% of our students right now are still chronically absent. Did I see you yesterday? A crucial role in everyday counts to make sure our kids are learning. Tomorrow is count day. It's a crucial day for Michigan school districts trying to maximize state funding. At stake, nearly $10,000 per student and DPSCD is working hard to get kids into the classroom so they can be counted. Kimberly Gill is here with more on how they are doing that. Kimberly. Yeah, hi guys. Good evening. Uh, even before the pandemic, chron chronic absenteeism was an epidemic in Detroit Public Schools. So a few years ago, the district hired a team of agents to try to better understand why students aren't coming to school and fix the root cause of the issue. Good morning, kindergarten. Hi, sweetie. Effie Harris is the attendance agent at Gompers Elementary in Detroit. Are we riding a bus today or no? Yes. As we part of her job, she arrives early and greets each and every student, many by name. Good morning, morning Janaya. Harris is part of a team that connects with students and identifies why they're absent from school, and that's not all. Kids being tardy to school, if it's excessive, you want to find out why. Um, you're investigating early pickups. If kids are leaving school early, you want to find out why. And of course, when kids are not in school on a regular basis, it can start off with a phone call home to say, uh, mom, dad, you know, so-and-so has not been here. What's going on? That phone call home is often an uncomfortable conversation, but in the end, it's about finding a solution, even if it means providing resources for the parent in the form of transportation, school uniforms, even paying bills. I have five kids. <laughs> I was trying to be superwoman, you know. Um, creates a lot of overwhelmed things, which cause stress, depression. Finally opening up to Miss Harris got me to the things I was lacking. She told me I needed to focus on myself and, you know, take care of me. The pandemic definitely disrupted um, our normal expectations um, around attendance. There is truth to just getting back to just a, the consistency of coming to school every day, but we really need that consistency. You know, we can't teach children at a high level if they're not at school every day. Um, so we are fully committed as a school district to meet the needs of our families and students. And seeing families do better and kids come to school on a regular basis is what keeps Harris going. Give her a big hug, mom. One of our parents say, you know, Mrs. Harris, it's okay to struggle. It's okay to struggle. It's not okay to give up in that struggle. And so I hope that that's what we're doing as agents. We're helping to let someone know that it's okay to have the struggles. We don't want you to give up doing your struggle. We want to find a solution and we want you to overcome those barriers. We got her, we got them. I just love her. She, she was so passionate during the interview and there's a lot of passion from people just like Effie to fix this problem and for good reason too. A student is considered chronically absent if they miss two days or more a month. And we also want to let you know that this month we're going to continue to look at ways that the district is trying to help families to get their children to school on a regular basis because we know it is so, so very important. So important. Yes, yeah, it really is. Yeah. And Kimberly, talk to us a little bit more about that because these attendance agents, they aren't the only resource available to parents. So what else is That's the district doing? So true, you know, and the struggle is so real. You heard it from uh, the parent there in the piece, Gloria. Um, the district realizes that it's going to take more than money from the state budget to get and keep these kids in class. So they do have other resources. If you're going through something, the best thing to do is to speak up. Let the school know. We have a link to some of those resources on our website. Just go to clickondetroit.com. I like how that parent said, you know, I have to make me important. Take care of yourself. And, yes. That sometimes it's the parents right. that's going through something Working and they the can't get the hours. That's and, exactly right. Can't get the kids to school. So yeah, they're they're doing a lot there at DPSCD. Right. Thanks, Kim. Sure.